We begin with news of yet another alarming act of blatant brinkmanship by North Korea, which launched a series of missiles earlier on this Wednesday, prompting an air raid alert on the South Korean island of Ulungdo. I have our Defence Ministry correspondent Pei Inji standing by live with details. Inji, what is the latest? Sunny South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced that if that North Korea fired at least 10 missiles, including three short-range ballistic missiles that it detected earlier in the morning. One of the ballistic missiles landed south of the northern limit line, the de facto maritime border between the two Koreas. The military said this is the first time that a missile has landed close to South Korean territorial waters since the two Koreas were separated. This is very unusual and unacceptable. Our military declares that we will be responding firmly. In response, South Korea's military fired three air-to-surface missiles from F-15K and KF-16 fighters toward international waters north of the NLL. The military called the move a warning to the north due to a series of provocations and despite repeated warnings from the south. The missile launches triggered an air raid warning across the eastern South Korean island of Ulungdo at 8.55 a.m. An official from the JCS explained one of the missiles flew in the direction of Ulungdo Island before crashing into international waters in the East Sea. The launch of the missiles appears to be a protest against a large-scale aerial exercise between the air forces of South Korea and the U.S. that's been taking place since Monday. Right. And, Inji, what has been the response from the top office here in South Korea? Well, Sunny, shortly after the launch, President Yoon suk yeol called an emergency meeting of the National Security Council. Yoon criticized the North's latest action, calling it a de facto violation of the South territory and said the regime will need to pay the price for its provocations. He also made it clear that North Korea's attempt to divide South Korean society as well as the South Korea-U.S. alliance will not succeed and urged the military to be ready for any additional provocations from the North. Those at the meeting agreed that this clearly showed the anti-humanitarian side of the North Korean regime, with such actions being carried out during a period of national mourning following the horrific incident that took place in Itaewon over the weekend. That's all I have for now. It's sour. Back to you, Sunny.